Hi everybody, Warren Woodward here. Today we're filming at my place and I've got a gentleman here with some very sophisticated equipment. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be comparing the analog meter that's on this house to uh, the new Landis and Gear smart meter that APS has been installing lately. And you're going to see the difference in what's called the waveform uh, of these two devices. And I think what you're going to see is going to be very disturbing. So let's go on inside and have a look. Hi everybody, so here we are uh, inside our little garage storage room which happens to have the breaker panel uh, for our house electricity. On the other side of this breaker panel is our analog meter. Now uh, we've got a whole lot of equipment here and we've got a new smart meter that is the same kind APS is using in their service territory now. It's a Landis and Gear Focus AXR and uh, we're going to be running the electricity for the house through this smart meter and we're going to be measuring the waveforms with this equipment and here's Paul uh, he's going to tell us about this equipment and, and what's going on here. Thanks Warren. So what we've done is uh, made a board okay, and uh, it's connected like Warren was telling you uh, to both phases alright so you've got 120 volts traveling through uh, to this uh, panel and we're measuring the dirty electricity on both phases right now so we're uh, doing this in GS units, Gramstetzer units, and we've got 15 on one phase and 25 on the other. It's somewhat clean. Um, now traveling through... Somewhat clean, excuse me, you mean, so you mean that... Um, power. Clean power. The, the, the power is clean. In other words, we have a we have a nice waveform with no high voltage transients. Right. Uh, All of you in, in in TV land can look up high voltage transients. So uh, the power right now is is being directed with this double throw switch, and uh, it's traveling through a gram ubiquitous filter. Uh, the gentleman that uh, designed this has patents uh, for the ICBM uh, missile guidance uh, system. So. He was no dummy. Uh, what this filter does is it takes out the 60 hertz and gives us pure frequency over here that's riding on the 60 hertz. What is, what is this over here? What is this? So this is an oscilloscope. This uh -huh. is a fluke oscilloscope. It's not influenced by anything. It's battery operated. And channel uh, B or input B is connected um, uh, through the filter and uh, channel A is uh, not going through the filter. So you see the 60 hertz. This is what it would look like if you were to look at a 120 volt AC uh -huh. receptacle. All right, so to measure RF uh, transmitting from the smart meter, we're using an HF 59B from Gigahertz Solutions, and you'll hear when it transmits. All right, so I'm going to just you'll hear like little ticks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You'll hear, hear a distortion. Yeah. All right, so we're going to attach this to the panel. All right. And now we're going to measure electricity running through the smart meter. All right. Okay. Right now the switch isn't thrown. As you can see, there's nothing happening. Yep. So we're going to turn this on. Whoa. All right. So we've got quite a Look bit of that. distortion yeah. going on. All right. And that tick, that's the smart. Listen to right. it. Yep. Wow. So we're going to try to catch it when it transmits. Yeah. yeah. That didn't look like that when we just had, wow, right. we just had the analog going. Right. So I've had enough of that. That was a lot of transmissions too in just a small amount of time. And we're seeing this with the new, uh, yeah. the new smart meters. Yeah. They're more active. Much more active. Yeah. Not that the other ones were good. But right. this is worse. Yeah. Right. So if your head was on the other side of this panel, uh, which mine was when I first was introduced to the smart Cause meter. Because your bed was right there. My, my bed was on the other side of the panel for the, for yeah. the house. So I was 
uh, absorbing quite a large magnetic field and an electric field, yeah. as this will. In addition to the to the broadcast microwaves. Right, and yeah. so when they when this started to transmit, I woke up, and that yeah. was at three twelve in the morning. Yeah, so so I think what we're seeing here, folks, is is not just the microwave transmissions that go through the air uh, from the smart meter, but they also because this is at the entrance of the electricity to your house, the transmission, the frequencies of the transmissions get get sent along the wiring as well, and that's what we're seeing here on this fluke oscilloscope. Is that right? Is that, that, that that's correct, yeah. and it just doesn't stay in the wiring. Right. It actually radiates six to eight feet from the wire, so uh -huh. it's not just coming from the little outlet. If right. you were to it's take the, the wire, wall, yeah, yeah. So we're basically living in a in a big antenna, right? Yeah, correct, correct. So you can't really escape that. So yeah. people that are sleeping in a bedroom with a smart meter connected to it are going to have a higher exposure than somebody that's going to sleep in a room on the other side of the house. They're still yeah. going to have an exposure, yeah. but not a great as great as one. Yeah, yeah. And so this would explain why a lot of people who could handle uh, a, a baby monitor, uh, their cell phone, the Wi-Fi, all that stuff, this is why the smart meter puts those people over the top right? So in, in, terms of, in terms of illness and discomfort and Correct. And, and what have you. Correct. Yeah, you're all the symptoms that the people uh, can, can show from this. Well, the, the, the frequencies being transmitted, is, it's not just the 900 megahertz that's trans that's 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 the microwave that's yeah. the microwave yeah. effect but this effect is much greater it it's like no other device in your home uh, you are absorbing this and you're absorbing frequencies known to affect the cell membrane so down into the 10 kilohertz range 15 kilohertz range and, and it's been known for you know over 50 years that these particular frequencies and waveforms when you say known known by who by uh, IEEE so the uh, Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineering uh, from the uh, that's national a, that's, a, that's a mainstream outfit in. yeah, yeah. The, you know uh, the EPRI yeah. uh, Journal of Neurophysiology um, they're really excited about using this uh, instead of medication when they do surgery because they're able to create nerve block by opening potassium channels and, uh -huh. and, and calcium and, and sodium channels yeah. just with um, frequencies, so yeah. 10 kilohertz. So it has so. some positive use, but in your home all the time, it's maybe not so positive, huh? Yeah, probably not so much. You know, yeah. anything that can affect you on the biological level is a poison. You know, it's just yeah. a matter of dose. Yeah. So, so you're uh, getting dosed all the time with one of these. All the too. time, yeah, yeah. So, so this is not like your baby monitor. This isn't like your cell phone. Uh, this is like no other device you're exposed to because it's using all the wiring that travels through this panel as an antenna. So right. it's an energized because it's, antenna. Because it's connected to it. Correct. It's the largest antenna and you're exposed to this 24-7 if you're in the house 24-7. So it never cleans up as you saw. It, yeah. Once you put this thing on, it's a nightmare. Yeah. So what I've Folks, done is... we've I've, done a number of takes in this video and it's always the same. Yeah. So next we're going to uh, just look at, at what kind of frequencies we've got showing up. Oh, uh, let's see here. Oops. You know, the, the 2 to 50 kilohertz range, it's not talked about much or at all uh, when we talk about smart meters. Most people focus on the microwaves that are, that are transmitting. So these, these kilohertz frequencies uh, are doing some severe damage to people and nobody, until this video, nobody knows about that. Um, and if you want to look up what's happening in the kilohertz range, these are just some of the studies. Wow, uh, and these aren't stack. Well, this is a stack and some of them are single pages. This is from the IEEE, so you can find this with the IEEE. Uh, that's a mainstream organization of, of electrical engineers, isn't it? Right, and right, then, and then right. Th what's, what's that study saying? Uh, it's saying that they're able to uh, cause, uh, well, this one right here, uh, electrical stimulation of ton 10 kilohertz at 5 milliamps was applied for 5 seconds at half the exonal length. Um, what that, are they trying to do? Mean? 
The, the modeling analysis of negative effects of high frequency electrical stimulation on axonal behaviors. So that's the that's the title to that particular one. Here's another one: high frequency electrical conduction block of mammalian uh, peripheral motor nerve. Uh -huh. Okay, no, using no, no, 10 mammalian kilohertz. Mammalian would be us. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. 10 kilohertz, 30 kilohertz, um, localized electrical nerve blocking at 10 kilohertz again. Uh, Anyway, we could go on and on and on, but uh -huh. this is these what... Are all, but these are all mainstream organizations. Mainstream organizations, yeah. yeah. There, there's no, there's no uh, uh, debating this. Right. <laughs> there, there are no studies saying that these frequencies that the smart meter is producing on the electrical wiring or on the electrical field that we're absorbing do not have an effect, a biological effect. There are no studies that are saying that. Not one. So, Paul, you mentioned that uh, these different frequencies radiate, radiate out from the wiring uh, to a distance of like six to eight feet. How do you know that? Well, uh, I've got an electric field meter. Uh, this particular one is made in Germany uh, from Gigahertz Solutions. And we'll turn it on here. And right now it's measuring 11 volts per meter in the air. And, in the air. Right. So it's radiating from the wiring. We'll, uh -huh. we'll get close to one and, and show you uh -huh. how it will go up. So we've we'll got get close to an outlet. Right, yeah. exactly. So. Wow. Wow. So your head could yeah, be right were, next to that were, outlet. If you were right. bed, yeah. Right. So you're looking at about 44, 45 volts per meter. Yeah. Right at this location. Yeah, good thing I don't sleep there. Right, correct. But if you're absorbing that and those high frequencies are traveling on that wire, yeah. it's going to radiate into your head and into your whole body. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why we don't want to sleep with the power on in our, in our bedrooms because there are other things that are creating high frequencies. Yeah, well, we, but... we turn ours off in the bedroom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, it would seem to me that, you know, many, many people uh, involved in the smart meter issue are focused on the... 900 megahertz uh, frequency, that, which is the microwave transmission, but none of us knew that there were these other frequencies sort of hidden uh, in, right. in that and, and are being transmitted as well. So uh, if I was a power company, uh, if I was a lawyer, if I was uh, the power company's lawyer, if I was the power company's insurer, I would be very concerned about this. Uh, if, if, I, people, if I was a yeah. damaged individual, uh, I would be, I would be wanting more information about this because, in my opinion, this is why people are getting damaged. Why people who previously could handle all their wireless gadgetry, their Wi-Fi, and their cell phone, and then when they get the smart meter in their house, uh, all of a sudden, their world falls apart, and and the the devices that they used to be able to handle, they can no longer handle. And uh, it's just an overexposure of these frequencies. Is that right? From what I've found, I'm using their equipment, using their studies. You mean there? You mean like mainstream stuff? Mainstream, yeah. They're yeah. going to use a fluke oscilloscope. Yeah, this they're is like the use... best, isn't it, fluke? Well, it's it's up there. It's it's One it's well respected, yeah. you know, in in the industry. So yeah. I'm going to use their, you know, I'm using their panel. Everything's we're using their electricity, their smart meter. Yeah. We're just putting a little puzzle together that's yeah. all. You know? Yeah. So Thanks thank, a lot. Thanks for doing this. You bet. So there you have it folks. People injured by smart meters are not hypochondriacs. This is real. You saw it on the oscilloscope. There's there's a ton of studies that show those frequencies, those kilohertz frequencies, cause nerve damage and nerve block. And you can see links to those studies right underneath this video. I encourage power companies and power company regulators to get your own equipment and do your own studies on this. And do it quick, because you've been killing people with these smart meters. You know, it's not in their heads. They're not hypochondriacs. Here's what we got inside with the oscilloscope. Each chart shows the kilohertz frequencies in the 2 to 50 range. The chart on the bottom is with the power running through the analog meter. The chart on top is with the power running through the smart meter. 
look at the difference. The oscilloscope doesn't lie. In addition to a constant barrage of microwaves, smart meters are radiating kilohertz frequencies known to disrupt the human nervous system. Certain specific frequencies in that range can be isolated on the smart meter chart. For example, here's the smart meter chart with 25 kilohertz isolated. To really see it though, you need to zoom in. Here's what that looks like. The 25 kilohertz is right there between the two cursors, those two X's. Here's another example, zooming in on 16.6 .6 kilohertz. So there needs to be a safety recall. Lawyers, here's your chance to go after these big utilities. They're killing people. Thanks for watching, everybody. Warren Woodward signing off.